Let us all that we can to build a better future. It's good to be rude. It's good to be impolite. It's good to interrupt. And it's very good to knock these politicians off the pedestals that they put themselves on. This goes for Republican politicians, too. All right. But I find it refreshing to see all these oh so high profile progressive Democrat heavyweight champions who always want to say that they care about the issues. But when confronted with their failures, their sycophants are quick to dismiss the people. These politicians are quick to ignore and deflect and pretend nothing's happening. Hey, Bernie Sanders, your oh so fantastic movement, which you he actually said the line. There was a tweet video uh, that his team put together where he said that this is the most important election this time around. Like, no duh. We've heard that before. They all are. Yeah. So especially when it comes to fundraising. Because win or lose, I mean, if they win, then, you know, we have four more years of the same in action. If they lose, they'll be able to fundraise and sit on their fat, rich asses for another four years pointing at the Republicans when they had all the time in the world to make change while they were in control. I mean, it's it's an existential crisis, right, Oreo? <laughs> Shout out to Oreo here. So here's the thing. Uh, I interviewed this gentleman, Jose Vega. Please check it out. For some reason, YouTube is actually suppressing it uh but i did interview jose vega on our show he is the individual who interrupted aoc's town hall where aoc said you're being rude by asking me if i'd vote against a nuclear war well here's a tweet from him that recently came out some friends of mine sam uh prometheus and bill ferguson in boston confronted senator elizabeth warren and squad member Ayanna Presley on nuclear war issue. The congresswoman has been shown to be a coward and warned an even bigger one. Will they allow us to die? So here's what happened, and I think it's only fair that we play this video for the people. Jerry, are you ready to laugh? Well, I want to interject. That was Go a ahead. great score interviewing those two activists last week. I was in my car watching and listening, and I was li I was just so excited that you got them on the show. But even more so, everything we're sharing here is what, AOC and other candidates of, I'm going to say her ilk, encouraged us to do. Bring yeah. a ruckus, hold them accountable, hold their feet to the fire, hold hold elected representatives, elected representatives' feet to the fire, apparently, except when it's their own, after they've colluded with uh, the bear that they decide to let eat them that they can change from within before it shits them out. Absolutely. I could change the bear from within. So here, let's play this video. Senator, you have got to stop funding a Nazi-infested Ukrainian regime. You are bringing us to the brink of nuclear war. You have got... Hey, who'd ever think that being anti-war means that you get booed? Those billions could be used for a lot of good things here in the U.S. Instead of funding Nazis in Ukraine, they're preparing a dirty bomb to detonate and drain on Russia. This is not why we're here. I am here to make sure. This is not the time. Not right now. When is the right time, Jerry? Do you know? Hey, audience, do you know? No one knows. They're not Go ahead, Jerry. I didn't mean They're to not anything. running on anything that's important to voters right now. Uh, exactly. We were talking about, I mean, this might kind of come up in our other story, but all they're do is, doing is pandering to identity politics. They're not dealing with economics, job creation, uh, workers, students. It, it's just, <laughs> I, 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 I have no words for how utterly clueless they think what they're campaigning for and what they're ignoring, what they're campaigning for might for some reason trump no pun intended, what the important issues are. Yeah, but you know, hey, let's face it. Uh, you got to vote Democrat. Vote harder, poor people. Millions of lives sir. are saved. We are going to ask you Instead leave, of sir. getting into a we nuclear are going war. To ask you to leave, sir. I, please, you've please, asked me. Please, I, please. Yes. I will this is, move forward. Yes. 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 No. Nuclear yes. war. Yes. I'm black and brown, too. And I don't want them to die in a nuclear war. My tax money is funding because the Congress and the Senate are funding Nazis in Ukraine. Do you want a nuclear war? A nuclear war will cancel your debt. And your life. I, I have sent letters. I have sent emails. I have made calls to these senators and congressmen. They refuse to respond. 
We are marching to nuclear war this behind is, sir, fools you, in you, political office. Just a little wiki fact. Look at how incon look at yeah. how inconvenienced they look. I know they they look annoying. So inconvenienced to hear the rabble, to hear the peasants protesting. Of course, Warren doesn't give a damn, and neither does Presley, because it's no. all about optics. And plus, let's face it, Russiagate caused people to spaz out and lose their critical thinking. But I want to remind everyone in 2019, boy oh boy, there were a lot of articles about oh this 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 really controversial group in Ukraine. You know, it was a political movement that was in the 19. 30s in Germany. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's nothing to worry about, Jerry. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, may, maybe I'm wrong. Well, they're, 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 look, I was talking with a friend of mine on the phone today. You know, they are elevating uh, Mussolini in Italy right now. It's <laughs> only a matter of time until Nazis come back into fashion and they start making excuses for them. Those uh, that aren't already scumbag KKK white supremacists that aren't already saying Hitler had some good ideas, right? Yep, and we are reverting. It's like everything's circular, as Daniel likes to say. History is circular here. Yeah, let's play the rest of it. See how Warren is so inconvenienced. They have got to stop it. Thank you. Nuclear war is the issue. Nuclear war. Consideration. Yeah, there's another guy. Tag team in. Oh my god. Well, stop it for a second. That's okay. Okay. Was Warren getting ready to do the AOC shuffle? See, uh, I don't know. She looked here, like here, it. She here, raised her hands. It looked like she was about to start the thing. Here's the thing. I don't, I, if, if these politicians want to make themselves look like clowns and dance, fine. Whatever. I don't give a damn. <laughs> None of them got any dance moves anyways. Neither does AOC. I'm going to keep on saying that, right? Yeah. But, Jerry, notice how everyone's seeing canceled student debt. The Biden-Harris administration, just because people are applying for that 10K, 20K student debt, a lot of y'all ain't going to get it. And another thing, too, you got to add in the interest. So hopefully there will be a select few people that will probably be able to benefit from the student debt forgiveness, but it's only 10 K 20 K at max. But the sad fact is, you know, you still got to pay off the rest of the loan. There's the interest too. the Democrats aren't going to cancel student debt. They're not going to do it there. And to say that you're getting a crumb is, is, is an insult to but, crumbs. Yeah. It, but yeah, it's an insult to crumbs. See the Democrats, people like Warren, People like Ayanna Presley think they're once again invincible. So, Jerry, I want to bring this up to you to your attention too, because you mentioned that you really liked that interview I did with Jose oh, and yeah. his colleague uh, Kyan, right? Yeah. Well, Kyan, once again, with uh, the candidate that they're helping run for office as an independent, Diane Sayre, uh, attended a town hall hosted by Senator Gillibrand. So, Roger Meadows, if you're listening, this is in your own backyard too, because let's face it. Anytime we can make these politicians' lives uncomfortable, like AOC said, then let's raise the ruckus. Right, Jerry? AOC yeah, said raise the ruckus. She did. I, but I, I need to add something to the Warren story. I do want to share ahead. afterwards. Her representatives did report that the reason that those protesters decided to disrupt Senator Warren's press conference is because they wanted to date her. So um, I think, you know, we, we ought to, like, be fair and give equal time to Senator Warren. That wasn't really about canceling student debt. These were disgruntled. Um, voters who were upset that she would not date them. Oh, I see. I see. Well, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, isn't that what AOC claims that every disruption there are jealous people that pe people want to date her? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how about no? You know <laughs> how what? No. How about maybe no? A a a AOC, I'm not swiping right. I'm swiping left. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Let's hear what. Uh, uh, Kyan had to uh, say with Senator uh, Gillibrand's little town hall. You haven't addressed. Well, we said we're not going to. No, no. You got to. All of this. All of these so-called issues do not matter because the previous people were right. We are on the brink of thermonuclear war, okay. and we're confronting Russia. We're basically putting a knife to their neck, and yet you aren't doing anything to talk about it. There have been Democratic senators like AOC. They have recently raised their voice and said we are 
putting pushing them to the brink and that we need to go for a negotiated yeah, settlement. Cute. Just a heads up, the Congressional Progressive Caucus, and we'll be talking about it, uh, backpedaled I, like the cowards that they are on that little letter that they sent out. I only wish more of these activists to support their claims would bring up the fact that President Biden stated as much behind closed doors to his wealthy donors, that this was a Cuban Missile Crisis moment. So although the news is really not sharing what's going on and how close to the precipice we are, we were, you and I reported on this, I think two weeks ago, that Biden told his donors how really dire the situation is. Now, when all of these elected representatives dismiss these activists, I hope any activists who may be watching this show tonight that might continue in these kind of disruptions uh, lean on the fact that, hey, the president himself said this. Don't deny it. Yep. Address it. Okay, just because the mainstream media is not sharing with us what's going on behind closed doors doesn't mean it's not happening. This is what happened back uh, during the Cuban Missile Crisis as well. I mean, I never realized how close our country was to the precipice until, you know, history reported otherwise. But, um, yeah, I mean, holding them accountable, they're claiming that everybody is blowing this out of proportion, and they're not when the president has said as much behind closed doors. To the wealthy donors who've got their bunkers they can go hunker down into if okay. uh, the worst happens. Folks, all we have to do is find those bunkers, and if you're still around, seal them off. Make sure they can't get out, okay? There you go. There we go. But look at our nuclear posture. Right now, it's stated that we do not have a no first use policy, okay? It's stated since the Bush Doctrine that we can use nuclear weapons preemptively against Russia. And yet, with Zelensky, and yet Zelensky, wait, no, no, I want to say this. Zelensky, Zelensky recently announced that he wants NATO to preemptively use nuclear west weapons against Russia. Okay. And yet we're supposedly behind Ukraine 100%. Later, 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 we're supposedly behind them 100%. Do you support time. that policy? Do you support Zelensky's posture of preemptively using answer. weapons answer against Russia? Answer, answer the question. Do you support that policy? I'm going to answer you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So since I have no, 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 go ahead. I do not support the thing you just said that Zelensky said. I have no idea what his policy is, but how can I you have no not. idea what this policy? Yeah, 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 yeah. How is he it blew up a bridge? Things? He blew up a bridge to poke the Russians, the hornet nest of Russia, is what he did to try to like get get some kind of get Russia to to provoke so that NATO would then step up and do what he wants. Hey. Like I said, these politicians, they don't really care. They're just there to fatten their Oblivious. Wallet. And you know what? If she doesn't know about this, then she should not be running for re-election. She should go. Yes, I'm being rude. I voted yeah, against the national... Jerry, stop being rude. All right? <laughs> Rude's my middle name. Yeah, you know, I was on the based. Jimmy Dore show. Was based. I was on the Jimmy Dore show, and I was telling people not to vote Democrat and Republican, and I guess that makes me a white supremacist. It Confirmed. Does. Confirmed. 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 Shout Defense bill because. And by the way, Jimmy Dore was right about all these jagoff politicians. It had that stated in it under Trump. So I voted against the defense bill for that very reason. I'm very concerned about the use of nuclear weapons. I will not support a government that wants America to use nuclear weapons. Okay. I think it is very dangerous. Duh. It just results in death. Yes. It is a terrible outcome. There's Planet no dudes. strategic use for a nuclear weapon. Any nuclear weapon, even the ones they call, what do they call them? They call them uh, tactical, tactical nuclear weapons. Even and, the, and there's another word for it. And it's it's to mislead you to think that if you oh, used yield. it, what is it? Low, low yield. Yeah, low yield. Okay. So here's a term of art for you. What's a low yield nuclear weapon? You think, hmm, it's probably not as harmful, probably wouldn't kill as many people. Well, one no, low yield nuclear weapon would destroy half of Hiroshima. So it's just okay. So hold on. There's a little bit more to that video. So just bear with me, folks. I'm going to pull up the second part of it. Uh, Jerry, why don't you filibuster just for a little bit while I get the second video all set up? So, well, I give her credit for stating the facts. I'm really, really curious to see where she's going to take it and yeah. how the activists are going to hold her accountable after whatever it is that she says so far. So let's hear it. The list that you're worried about and the list that you are concerned that are being targeted by Ukrainian. Oh, uh, so hold on. She, uh, so in that second video, uh, let me just be clear on that. Uh, let's see. I think that part of might have been cut off, but now that I think they bring up the uh, Ukrainian kill list uh, for certain activists and organizers. So apologies for that, folks. Oh, was the wrong video link? 
Okay. Yeah, this, this is the same one. That's what you think it is. And so I just assure you, Americans are not being targeted by Ukrainians. If they were, our FBI, our CIA, and our DOD would protect them. That's not what he asked, though. That's not what he stated. Did he did he say something about Ukrainians targeting Americans in Europe? Sorry, Senator. I I am Diane Sayre. I am on that hit list. And Scott Ritter is on that hit oh, okay. list. People on it have been attacked and killed. I got a package today in the mail that sh had rattling noises in it that said something about Ukraine. And I had to call the police because I didn't know what was in it. They are killing people. Amnesty International admitted that it's the Ukrainian army using human civilians as human shields. And you and 99 other senators voted unanimously to declare Russia a state sponsor of terrorism, which means that all diplomatic channels with another nuclear power are cut. I think that is highly irresponsible. I will hear what you have to say. I hope you are not of the opinion from that idiotic public service announcement put out by the city of New York that we can survive a nuclear war by closing our windows and listening to the radio. And I do want a better answer because the State Department is funding it. I've been on the website for the Center for Countering Disinformation, which has my name on the list and says I am an information terrorist who should be charged with war crimes. And that does put me in danger. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, I did interview Diane Sayre on our show. Uh, you could check it out after the show as well. Jose and Ken have also uh, are working with her campaign as well. I, Like I said, hey, I'm a supporter of independence. I'm a supporter of third parties. And I think if you live in this area, your vote should go to Diane because obviously she's very clear on the issues of what's happening and Let's face it, if you vote Democrat, you're a sucker. So I'm aware of the yes, I understand your concern. If you believe you are threatened, either one of you, by Russians or you. No, 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 no. It's not the, that's not the question. It's you shutting down communications with Russia by claiming they're terrorists so that there's no negotiating with them. That was the statement. Yep. Ukrainians. We will get you. She uh, pivoted. We will get you the number to report that to the oh, FBI. Oh, pull. Boo. You should not feel to be at risk or to be targeted. And, and what about negotiating with the Russians, you them, hag? Um, she ain't going to do it. None of them are going to do Jack to help us out, Jerry. <sighs> Jerry, hold because on. Because we have to protect American hegemony. Hegemony? Hege Is hegemony. That hegemony. Yeah, in, in, in uh, Europe. Yeah. So uh, here's That's the thing, cool. Jerry. D does this not show you, audience, that your Democratic politicians, from Warren to Presley to the squad to corporate Democrats and even your favorite senator, Bernie Sanders, the cuck, they don't care. They're willing They're willing to crap out billions of dollars of aid to Ukraine. And I don't care what your political affiliation is, how old you are, how young you are, what generation you're part of, who you worship, who you vote for. Um if we're able to crap crap out billions of dollars for Ukraine, how come we can't crap out, I don't know, infrastructure for clean drinking water or ensuring that we have free education? We have money for war. And we could thank Jagoff politicians like I'm Biden, just... Hill Dog, Hillary Clinton, uh, Bill Clinton, Nancy Pelosi, Dianne Feinstein, all these old politicians who've been in power for decades – who are okay with endless war and working with the banks. See, it's the rich that are going to survive this uh, nuclear exchange. It's the rich that are going to hide in their bunkers. So for those of us who do make it out of it, yes, the survivors will envy the dead. Look, I got I got this new idea for the post-world after it happens, right? Because these bastards will lead us to war. If I'm around, rally to me, my fellow mutants, and we're going to find out where all these bunkers are at, and we're going to have a fantastic feast. It'll be a great bonding moment. So there you go. What do you think, Jerry? I prefer death. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with no running water. A shower in the morning to wake me up. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Clean water. Just, just, just wipe me out. Just take me out with the first wave. There you go. Um, so, again... Shout out to these activists. Shout out to people like Jose, Kayan, and so many others that are being unapologetic 
uh, being rude and actually raising the ruckus, like what AOC told us to do. But she's too busy being on Pod Save America to say, oh, I'll tell you what kind of favorite fries I have. And in and out burgers, eh, their fries aren't that good. So, I mean, come on, right out here. That's a, that's a terrible AOC impression. I need to work on that. But, uh, Jerry, keep on being rude, buddy. Okay, I will. <laughs> there you go.